Now that you have received your MyoVision Scout Plus, let's show you how to set up the device at the roadside. Before transport, to balance the weight for easy carrying, insert one fully charged battery into the middle battery slot. If additional batteries are required for your study, bring them separately to reduce the weight during transport. The batteries have a built-in handle to make it easy to carry them, as well as a battery life indicator. Use the carrying handles on the VCU and pole mount to transport them to the study location. Don't forget to bring the accessory case, which is easily carried using the shoulder strap. Release the snap button located at the base of the kickstand and pull the kickstand out fully ensuring the snap button locks into the top hole. Begin by placing the pole mount near the mounting post or other secure structure for deployment, ensuring that the mounting pads sit flush against the post and that the camera won't come into contact with any obstructions when extended to its full height at 24 feet or 7.3 meters. To attach the pole mount to the mounting post, the security shroud needs to be removed. First, unlock the padlock and set it aside. Next, remove the security shroud by lifting up on the top handle or the side handles and set it aside. Run a ratchet strap through the top strap holder and around the mounting post to securely tighten. Repeat with the second ratchet strap using the lower strap holder location. Then make sure to lock both ratchet straps with the padlocks. Lift the VCU and place the mounting slots on the large and small cleats on the pole mount and drop into place. Now remove the thumb screw from the parking spot on the pole mount. Now you can secure the VCU by inserting the thumb screw. Next, reach into the VCU's cable pocket and pull out the video patch cable. One end will remain connected to the VCU. Connect the video patch cable to the connector on the pole mount by pressing down and twisting a quarter turn until secure. To attach the camera, take the camera out of the accessory case. Remove the camera pole cap and place it in the accessory case. Place the camera lanyard over the top of the pole mount and place the camera on top of the camera pole, lining up the positioning inserts on the camera with the positioning grooves on the pole. Turn the camera clockwise a quarter turn to tightly attach the camera. It should snap into place. To avoid damaging the threads, ensure that the camera is screwed on level with the top of the pole. Next, tighten the small thumb screw on the camera. The camera includes a positioning knob to adjust the angle if required. When the camera pole is fully deployed, the camera head will need to be pointed towards the middle of the area under study. The amount of camera tilt required will depend on how close the device is to the road and the area under study. Turn the positioning knob on the camera counterclockwise until the locking teeth separate. Adjust the angle of the camera. Turn the positioning knob clockwise to lock the camera at that angle. The camera head should not be able to pivot. You must attach the camera before powering on the device. If you power on the device first, the camera won't function properly. If this occurs, simply reboot the system. Next, insert the SD card. Ensure you close the rubber cover of the SD card slot after insertion. Before fully extending the camera pole, Power on the device to confirm that there are no issues with the camera connection. To do this, press the power button. As the device starts up, the power LEDs above the left side of the display screen will flash blue. It will be solid blue when it is finished booting. On the home screen, press the live view button. Review the video to ensure that it is working. If there is no image, correct the camera connection and reboot the device. Now it is time to extend the camera pole. Each of the pole collars are labeled from smallest, one, to largest, seven. To loosen the smallest collar, turn it counterclockwise approximately a quarter to a half turn. Continue to loosen in quarter turns until the pole section slides freely. Do not loosen any collar completely. Lift up the top pole until fully extended. A narrow gray marker indicates when it is fully extended. Tighten the top collar by turning it clockwise until it is snug. The pole section above is now deployed. Repeat these steps for the remaining pole sections and collars. You must fully extend each pole section and tighten all collars. To securely lock the 5th, 6th and 7th pole collars and the clamping collar, remove the security screwdriver from the accessory case. 
Insert the screwdriver into each of the three holes on the side of the collar and turn the screwdriver clockwise until each set screw is tight. Do not over tighten. Repeat this for the remaining collar sections. Once the camber pole is fully extended and secured, review the live view on the home screen to ensure that the camera is correctly positioned to capture the desired area of study. If you need to pan the camera, loosen the clamping collar and rotate the camera pole until the camera is pointed in the correct direction, then retighten and lock the clamping collar. Make sure to check the battery life and SD card capacity of your unit. Finally, place the security shroud back on the VCU and close the VCU door. Secure the shroud and the VCU with the remaining locks. Scout Plus is now ready to record the roadside study.